Tilda was, uh, she came in on board very lately in the process. I think Rafe was the first one to come on board on this project, yes. Um, and uh, she read the script, she liked the script, but she was in a moment in her life after uh, she had uh, lost someone important in her family. And she didn't felt to be garrulous in a movie. So she wanted to find a new way of expressing. And also in the... Um, uh, communication with, with Harry, this guy, this guy who is really uh, all it, all ego coming off in any possible way, and not not putting a line between him and the red, the other people, in particular, investing everybody with his own words. Tilda had this intuition. She said, "What about she doesn't? She can't talk, and she has to find another way to." communicate with him, which she does. And, and uh, I found it very fascinating. I like, I like disruptions, if they are a sort of energy that makes things move in another direction, even if it was pretty late in the process, because this idea came like in May and we shot in July. I very carefully said it to the writer. I did not say it to the studio. And <laughs> we addressed this idea in the script, uh, and uh, we made it. And one, I think, two days. When did, when did the studio get their their hands on it? Two days into the shooting, <laughs> they showed up and they're like, "Wait, we haven't seen Tilda talk yet. What is there? What's going on here?" You like it? I said they were great. <laughs> Kudos to them. They were really cold-blooded. Very good. I